supplemental math videos from Circle Christian School. Inverse functions can be helpful in further exploring how two different variables relate to each other. Okay, let's informally find the inverse of a function. Uh, basically, we have a function f of x equals 4 of x, and we kind of look, hey, what's happening to the x? We see 4 is being multiply, multiplied, so it would just go to reason that the inverse would be the opposite, or the x is being divided by the 4. So now what we're going to do is a little bit of that f of x thing, um, f of g of x thing, my bad. The little inversey thing. Do, 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 going to my whiteout. Wah, 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 wah. Okay. So um, my f of g of x kind of thing going here. Um, except for it's going to look a little bit more like f of f of x inversey. That's all. Same thing. You just kind of think of this guy is being a bit of that f of g of x. So I'm going to take my f of x, which means it's going to be the 4. I'm going to take the x away because we're going to put in the cute little inversey guy. So x of 4, like so, because that's the inside part, the kind of g of x dude. And we're going to do the work here. Oh my. The little 4s go goodbye, and the whole thing equals x. If it equals x, then it's an inverse when you put the two together. Um, algebraically, to go find um, the f of x um, inverse, you know, find the f of x inverse. That algebraically, what we're basically going to do is just kind of rewrite it and switch the x and the y. Now, remembering that f of x is y, so that's pretty much how I'm going to write it. f of x equals y. And now I'm going to do the inverse. So instead of a y here, I'm just going to switch everybody. So we're going to end up with x equals 2 of y, I mean 2y, and minus the 3. Just like that, so, so it's inverse here. But of course, everything has to end up being y equals mx plus b. So we're going to have to solve the equation for y. That is, get the y all by itself. So I'm going to actually, and there's a couple of ways, honestly, to go and do this. What I like to do is just switch everybody around. So I'm going to put my 2y over here. You know, switch it around to the other side. Um, is that what I'm really going to go to? And it's going to move. It's going to end up being an opposite side because he jumped. Opposite sign because he's going to jump the fence. And we're going to bring this guy over here. He's going to be an opposite sign because we jump the fence. Anytime you jump the fence, you change the sign. And now we're going to go solve for y. We're going to divide by a negative 2 and divide by a negative 2 and divide by a negative 2. And we see that all the little negative 2s go goodbye there. And we end up with y equals a negative negative is going to give me a positive. So 1 over 2. I like having my slope being a fraction. And then, of course, this is going to be a positive. So a positive. 3 over 2. And that's going to give that to us in a algebraic way. Just remember to switch things back and forth. And if you jump a fence, to turn it into a negative. Now with a one-to-one -one function, basically we're saying that for every a there is a b. So what I'm going to do is take my original equation here. I'm going to take the x away and pretty much just let it be square root of a. Okay, there's an a. I'm just replacing the x with an a plus 1. And it should equal 
That's what we're trying to find out. Square root of the b plus 1. And so I'm going to go minus 1, minus 1, both sides. And so we're going to have the square root of a equals the square root of b. And if you want to get real technical, what we're going to do is square these two just to get rid of the little square root. It's always about an inverse thing. And lo and behold, we find out a equals b. Oh, I'm so excited. So we have a one-to-one -one function. The easier thing to go and say is that if the function passes the horizontal line test, and that pretty much means that its inverse should pass the vertical line test. And things like a parabola, you can look at this and go, oh, no way. It does not pass. So therefore, its inverse will not pass. And if it doesn't pass, either one of those, vertical or horizontal, then we basically do not have a one-to-one -one happening over the inverse. And life is good. It's always kind of nice to do one-on-one -on -one anyway. All right, guys, go have an awesome day. And one-on-one, -on -one, Jesus Christ was somebody that you know this week.